Hi, this is Trish Stewart. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be creating backgrounds and it's going to be done with a specific design that we're going to put on our fabric in mind that we're going to stitch in, either quilt in or just stitch and color in. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be working with here. This design is one of my designs and I went ahead and printed it on paper salvi. It looks just like paper, but the awesome thing about this is I can use it to put over my fabric once I've created my background and I can just stitch right on these lines. I like to use a 12 weight silky and that gives me a nice heavy design outline here. Then when I get it wet, it just dissolves, but I can put it through my printer so it's it's just very, very talented paper. <laughs> and the other thing is I prefer using prepared for dyeing fabric. This is a white fabric that is a PFD. You do not have to use a PFD. However, this is a long staple cotton in the weave. And what I have found is that because it's a long staple cotton and it's a very nice weave with lots of thread count, high thread count, that you don't have all these little fuzzy hairs sticking up you're going to find that different types of fabric are going to respond and give you a different look. So experiment a little bit with what you have. This is available on our site in one yard increments. So if you can't find it someplace, you can always order it from us. I'm going to start out. We're going to be using an assortment of colors in the neutral range, and then we'll be adding a really pretty burgundy to it. So let's start with the lightest color, and you saw that when I put the paper salvi on here, I'm going to want to keep this area just a little lighter so that when I color this in after I do the thread work, then I've got, I don't have a too dense or dark of an image. Remember these are transparent inks, and so they are going to be able to see through and you can always add more color but you can't take it away. We've got our sweeper here. This is a nice big sponge dauber. I love these because I can really get a large area covered but what I'm going to do, this had some gray in it. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to stroke this across and I'm just blotching it on because I want to create sort of a blotchy background. You can wash these out. Obviously I neglected to do that. I don't want to leave this totally white. If I did, then when I put my image on there, it's going to have these weird little white spots behind it. So we want to avoid that. I'm going to add, this was maize that I just put on and it had a little bit of charcoal gray mixed in with it. And I'm going to put sand on next. I'm using the same dauber, so we'll probably still get a little bit of gray coming off the dauber that I didn't wash earlier. The sweeper, I should say, that's what this is called. You don't want to forget to go down to the edges unless you know that you're going to be cutting this into, for instance, an eight inch square, and you're not going to worry about that because you'll be cutting them off. I always work as if I'm going to be using every inch of the fabric because I never know. I always I change my mind as I work. So now let's add a little bit of this autumn color. This is going to be a lot stronger. Ooh, I like the way these are blending. I'm doing all of this on a wonder sheet. The great thing about our wonder sheet is that it will protect your surface up to 500 degrees. So it also is very easy to keep clean. I can just wipe it off with a towel or a paper towel or something moist or something dry. It just slides off and I do the same thing when I'm doing glue work on here. It just I let it dry and I let it slide right off. Let's add a little bit of our burgundy now. We just have a little bit on here so it's not going to be real dramatic. But I really kind of like this pink color. Well, burgundy color I should say. 
Okay, now we have our base blotch done. And of course, if you don't want to create your own blotch, you can always find a blotchy fabric that you particularly like and then add to it. We're going to add to this with some really fun stamps. This one is these crazy little leaves already in a block, which I kind of like because it's a geometric pattern. And we'll come in and we're going to use the colors that we just oops, made our blotch with. Next I want to take another geometric type pattern and we'll just follow along and randomly place some more image. All right, let's see. Now we get to take this leaf image. This one is fun. Let's take some burgundy, stamp it in, take some autumn, overlap these. Don't forget to go off the edges of your fabric so you have more random imaging. Let's take some sand and add it in. Sand comes out nice and light. So now we're getting a lot more depth to our work here. Let's come over here to this edge. And finally, I'm going to take this cute little swirl and we're going to just add it in. It's not, it's a little bit thicker, wider, I guess. So it avoids having everything that I've done on here be all these thin little lines. And it kind of brings the blotch into the um, line so that it's more of a transition. Now, being the kind of person that I like to have other things added, I probably would go ahead and stitch my design on here and I might even come back with some shimmer from my Lumiere or from my gold or silver Sukineko inks. There you go. You've got your background. Have fun.